Hello, fellow Adores. Whether you are managing a small team or a few hundred employees, being on top of your shifts and tasks will prevent you from falling behind and losing productivity. It, Jay, what are you doing over there? Yeah, wait, let me let me stick. I'm sorry, Richard. I, I'm, my projects are going great, but I don't know how to manage it all. Well, are you using Odoo planning and organizing your time with the projects? Uh, Odoo planning? No. It's the perfect application for time management. In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of the planning app and show you how to use it through the project module. As always, we'll start on the main dashboard and jump into the project module. We'll go to the configuration and settings to turn on the planning feature. This is a macro level configuration that will apply to all projects. Now, if you want to go more micro and turn it on or off per project, you know where to go. But it will be automatically enabled for us. So going back to the project dashboard, the nine dots, we can jump into the planning of the project here, or we can go edit in this instance because I want to show you the smart buttons. And you'll see the 69 hours planned up above. You dive into that, and you see all the different planning records here. Now, before we continue on, I'd like to explain a bit more about the difference between a project task and a planning record. Think of a project task as a macro level item that needs to be done. You need to perform a service, or you need to fix something, etc. That's the task that needs to get done. That's not the same thing as a planning record. A planning record essentially is a micro level instance. It's more like a shift, for example. Let's say I need to perform a shift from Monday to Friday to perform something, to fix something. And we have several different employees. Well, the planning module will be used to assign shifts of employees to that task. So it's a macro of the task itself. So one task will not create a planning record because, in fact, multiple planning records can be assigned to the same task. And we'll see that in action here. So as you can see, this is the uh, week view of our planning records. And we have all the different shifts and all the different employees, or actually the resources available. More on resources in a moment. So let's for, say, for example, we want to create a new planning record. So we can select this plus sign, create. And you can see the different shifts that you want to, can default to. These are different templates you can select. First thing you'll select is a resource. A resource is both an employee as well as machinery or equipment. The moment you create an employee, it automatically creates a resource. And if you want to create more resources, again, like equipment, you'll go to the planning module, configuration, and enable it there. The role will be something you also specify in the planning module. You can create as many as you want. Let's just say she's a community manager in this instance. Now, she can work on any of the tasks in the project research and development. Let's do usability review. You can assign tags if you wish or none and specify if it repeats or not. Maybe instead of a template, and that will appear up above. Then you have the date range. Well, let's say that she'll be assigned to this task for the full range. Let's do that one more time. You can even specify the time frame if you'd like and apply. You'll notice because it's for the full week, Monday through Friday, the allocated time is 40 hours. And the percentage here is 100%. This implies that she's working 100% of the time of the 40 hours. But we know that's not very realistic, so let's just set that to 90, because we really only work about 90% of the time, which is expected of us. And there we go, 36 hours. You'll also be aware of any other shifts that may impact this at the same time. And now we can save. And if you want to, you can publish it, emailing it to all people that need to see it, or just publish it, and that's all I have to do. This is nice because if they're not users, they're just employees, you can email them to directly and they'll get it in their inbox. And voila, we're done. So as you can see, it's here. Now we can go to the month view and see what it would look like in that time frame. You'll see a little red icon indicating that there's other shifts that she's working on at that same time. So maybe it's, she's not the ideal person or it's not the ideal time frame. Uh, and you'll notice in the search bar, we're only looking at the one project, so she could have other shifts in other projects as well. Now let's be a bit more reasonable here and let's decrease the amount of time that she needs to spend on this. And you know, she's busy on that day, so let's move it to today. Still busy that day, so we can move it to that day. She's busy all week, but you know what? She can handle the work. So if we open up the task now, or the planning record, sorry, we can see that the time has shrunk based on the day. Now it is important to note that this allocated time is based on the entire shift. It's not likely that a shift is gonna be 40 hours straight. So if you want a good, accurate representation of the allocated time, you're going to want to create shifts per day, maybe even two shifts per day, just to kind of give them a break if you want to. You will need to take that into consideration. Now, what if, for example, this is a shift that she'll perform every single day? 
having to click on it every single time and create it is a bit cumbersome. So a cool trick, if you're on PC, you do control, or if you're on Apple, you do command, you can hold that button and drag and instantly duplicate all the different shifts easily, quickly, and effectively, reducing the time you spend with administrative work. Now we can even open it up and realize that eight hours is a bit too much time for that day. So let's do six. And it automatically does all the calculations for you. Save, publish, and there you go. Very quick, easy to manage, and one place. So Jason, does that solve all your problems? Oh, it does, Richie. It's much more relaxing now. Happy to hear it. Well, thank you again for watching the videos today. If you have any questions, let us know. And remember, stay awesome.